Hello students, Chimichanga here, and today I want to show you some basics of how to use the microscope, although you should still pay attention to the written instructions, which are much more detailed. So come on in, let's uh, make a wet mount. We'll start by putting a drop of water on a slide like that, and then you open up a petri dish and grab a little bit of mold, and maybe spread it out a bit. Then you add a cover slip and don't put your fingerprint on the cover slip. That helps a lot. Just drop it down like that. If you want to, you can tap it a little bit with your eraser head or some tool like that. So your microscope should have been left with the stage lowered and uh, the objective on low power. That's the red one, 4X. Put your slide in there and you kind of get it centered. Um, and then you rotate it all the way up. So while it's on low power, you can rotate it all the way up without looking through it. And then look through it and then very uh, gradually uh, focus down, go lower it down, and there, it's in focus. So it gets in focus pretty quick after uh, it's all rotated all the way up. And then move the stage around so it see, you can see what you want to see. And then you're ready to take a picture. Actually, you should probably draw pictures on paper with ink, but most of you won't, and so I'll go ahead and show you how to use a camera, which is sort of like cheating. The idea is you connect your hand to the microscope, and then you connect your hand also to the camera so that you can uh, change the field of view. And it's also good to, to, to shadow it so that you don't get the reflection of the lights in there. All right, so that's more or less what I want. I'll tap on there. That's a tiny thing, and we'd like to see it at higher power. So the cool thing about these microscopes is they're par focal, which means that when it's in focus at a low power, you can rotate it around to high power, and without much additional focusing, it should still be in focus. So we'll go up to 10x. And we look through it and it's uh, still in focus. I basically didn't have to focus it at all. Then you might play around with the lighting a little bit uh, so that it's particularly good for 10x. And you're ready to take a picture again, so let's do that again. So I hold the whole thing like this and. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now let's go up to 40x. <clears throat> so remember par focal. So don't change the height of the stage, just rotate it around. I usually get in here close to make sure that I'm not going to hit any water or anything at the side of the cover slip. And then it'll still be in focus. Just a tiny amount of, uh, of focusing and recentering. Re and I need a little more light here. So I'll open up the diaphragm and add a little bit more light from the illuminator and then the red go again so and that's all i have to say about that